that that's the fucking plan. Motherfuckers is finna move on these ops. All the shooters, suit up. Before they even ask some questions, they just shot him. They just range at him. What did you want them to do? Did you want them to be like, okay, yeah, shoot me. It's your world. We just live in it. You shoot me, I die. You still go on with your life where you're beating the shit out of women and doing whatever else. <laughs> What's up everybody? Before we get started today, I wanted to tell y'all about a sale that Olight is having. The Balder Pro, one of my favorite lights to have on a handgun. Simple mode switch to select white light, light and laser, and laser only. Incredible 1,350 lumens and 260 meter beam distance. And this is a great light to have on your weapon for self-defense. So go check out this sale with Olight. There will be a link in the description. I think my neighbor's workers are either having a quinceanera or forgot to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. All right, well, we're gonna do our best to just ignore it right now. Oh man, another black man shot by police. He was so innocent. Why don't we just riot and steal a whole bunch more shit? No, that's not what happened. I got some buddies shooting in the background. Don't mind them. So Winston Boogie Smith gets into a shootout with police officers. And naturally you might think, was it just a random shootout? You tell me. While the men do what the fuck we gotta do, cause I'm gonna make these phone calls and we gonna pull up doing what the fuck we gotta do. Ain't nobody finna be keep begging for no justice. That that's the fucking plan. Motherfuckers is finna move on these ops. All the shooters, suit up. Bring your gun to the protest. Bring them fucking bombs and rocket launchers and all that shit y'all rap about. Yeah. That's the guy we're talking about here. He's talking about bringing rocket launchers, guns, gasoline, bleach, whatever else, to protest. This is getting ridiculous. Anyways, so this guy has a shootout with police officers after he posts this video. This guy has a warrant for his arrest which is why he ended up getting a shootout. And he was convicted of robbing his ex-girlfriend and leaving her face bloody and swollen. That's the kind of guy we're talking about. But listen to these people say revenge and justice. Winston Boogie Smith, my brother wasn't the same, but I know he wasn't no murderer. I'm just looking for justice. Another, as my daughter say, as another young black man, and it's a shame that they keep killing our young black people, our young black men. Guys, he shot at police because they came to serve him a warrant. I mean, he's posting pictures of himself in rental cars on Instagram, posting pictures of his gun. His probation said that he needs to remain law abiding, which means you can't have a fucking gun. Those are for people who obey the law and don't beat the shit out of their ex-girlfriends. Sorry, bud. But to me, what's more concerning about all this are all the people that are outraged to the point where there was another riot in Minneapolis because of it. What exactly is the point of your riot? Are you mad that this guy who was being served a warrant shot at these police officers? What did you want them to do? Did you want them to be like, okay, yeah, shoot me. Just go ahead and shoot me. I'm not gonna shoot back. Is that what you want? Is that what you're rioting about? If that is what you're rioting about, then we have a whole different set of fucking issues in America right now. I've said this once and I will say it again. Until America starts being realistic about what is happening, things are not gonna change until people are realistic about police officers and understanding what actually happened in events and not reacting, going out and rioting before you know the actual facts, things are not gonna change. And for the city of Minneapolis, start fucking arresting these rioters, for God's sakes.